All right, everybody. I've got uh, some potassium iodide in our in our YouTube. Um, I'm gonna. I have uh, my uh, alligator clips hooked up to some uh, pencil lead, some graphite hooked up to a nine volt battery. We're gonna drop these into our YouTubes. I'm gonna have the the red electrode here on the left, and we'll see what reaction takes place. Okay. I'm gonna give that a little bit of time to react. Um, if you watch the, uh, the calculations video, um, one side should form iodine, uh, and then the other side uh, should become basic. Um, the iodine is the one that we're hopefully gonna be able to see, uh, and uh, uh, it should, the iodine, uh, if you've ever gone to the doctor and they swab your arm and, and that sort of thing with iodine, you know iodine is a dark liquid. Uh, so one of these sides should be getting darker, okay? I think that I see that happening on the left-hand side here. Um, and we're gonna test for that here in a moment, and we're also gonna test for uh, the pH. So I'm gonna drop these uh, electrodes in in the same configuration in another YouTube so we can do both those tests, all right? Okay. Um, so first thing I'm doing is I'm going to test for starch. I think this side of my electrode is, has uh, gotten darker, so I think that's where the iodine was. I've got a little dropper of iodine, or excuse me, of, uh, of uh, starch. and drop that in there. And we see it turning purple. So that tells me that there is some presence of, uh, of iodine in there, okay? Um, for my, uh, if you're kind of wondering, we make some on the other side. Uh, unless some traveled over there, we really shouldn't have that. Maybe a slight amount with potassium iodide reacting. Not quite sure, but definitely we made a bunch of iodine here. Maybe some of it already traveled. All right. Um, for, the, uh, for the second part of this, we're going to be testing the pH. And so for that, I've got some universal indicator uh, that I'm going to add to the other YouTube that's kind of been reacting over here. Uh, while we were testing the other YouTube. All right, so let's see what we see. I'm gonna go and scooch this over. And we've got our other YouTube here. Okay, I'm gonna take these out. And drop in some universal indicator. Now I had, um, I had the electrode set up in the same configuration. So I think iodine was forming on this side left-hand side so that means that the right-hand side should be forming hydroxide and it should be basic so what that tells me is that this should turn blue if it's basic okay it definitely looks like it's turning blue to me and I'm gonna add a drop on the left because that pH really shouldn't be changing and it should be kind of green okay I think what I'll do is maybe move the uh, the YouTube around and the clamp so we can kind of see what's going on here. All right. So hopefully you can tell, let me zoom in there, that the left hand side is green uh, and then the right hand side is purple, uh, or I should say blue. All right. So there you see the green uh, a little bit better. So this side had the iodine form, but that's not gonna affect the pH, so it's nice and green in the universal indicator, meaning it's neutral. And this side turned blue, meaning that it's basic. All right, so what we see is that our calculations uh, do uh, correspond to what happens uh, uh, in lab, which is pretty cool. Thanks for watching.